Hello everybody and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode Series. Today we are here at Michigan for the Consumers Energy 400. And we've gone and qualified in the 22nd position. So already not a great start. A second off of the top 10. So we got our work cut out for us today. But Brad Keselowski is on pole for today's race. And now we gotta hope we can uh, find our way through the field and up to the front. Uh, if we definitely want to get that... Uh, regular season championship we're gonna have to perform like a regular season champion and not qualify 22nd and end up 22nd so uh yeah but we are here today at michigan here are your stories of the race harrison burton has been struggling all weekend reaches the national year failed optical scanning station multiple times as an l and then you got james and i who failed technical inspection as well so that'll do it for your stories of the races. Now we are ready to go racing here at Michigan here. Part 87 of the crew mode is ready to get underway here. The green flag is out at Michigan. The Consumers Energy 400 is underway. As the field goes barreling down off into turn one, Keselowski is the guy out in front. And now we're going to make our way through 20 cars if we want to go and challenge him for the lead. Of course, we just came off a very disappointing New Hampshire race where we could have won if uh, the cautions didn't come out the way they did. Obviously, we don't know how those uh, wrecks happened, but I'm sure they did happen. NASCAR Heat 5, I'm sure they did. But we are now to the inside of Chase Elliott, who has struggled quite a lot this season, hasn't won in so long. And we get past him for P17, and we get past Hemrick as well. Now to the inside of Justin Allgaier and Matt Benedetto here, trying to get past them both here. The 55 car is another one who is struggling this season. Of course, he had a breakout season in the debut season of that Sony PlayStation Toyota team, and uh, things have just not gone quite the same as they would hope this season so far, but already up into P12 right now. It is a great start for us, passing 10 cars on track already, and now trying to catch up to Alex Bowman here, and we get a huge draft off of that 48 car as now we go into turn three and four we give him a little bit of a bump he goes sideways but he makes a very nice save obviously i didn't anticipate getting such a great run through the middle of the corner compared to him as now we look to the inside of timmy hill for p11 we're going to get that quite easily and now with a bit of help from ryan blaney we are going to go to the inside of alex bowman here trying to overtake him and as you can see going into turn one and two we get that done so now we are up here in the top 10. We're trying to catch Austin at Sindrick in that 33 car. But before you know, we're going to hit you with a little bit of an editing trick here. We got around that car pretty easily. And now Kyle Larson was on that back bumper, giving us a huge push pass. Uh, Bell, Kozlowski, Byron. Now we go to the inside. He takes us three wide here. He doesn't give us much entry room here. And for some reason, really, and Byron freaked out as well as Kozlowski. Both of them go into the wall behind us. Hitting it pretty hard there. And that's going to affect both of those race cars here. As now we are in P7 all on our own. And Tyler Reddick is running away with the stage win. As now we skip forward just one lap here. And now we're going to come across the line. Kyle Busch actually wins stage one. He stole it from Tyler Reddick at the end. So uh, there you have it. The first stage is complete here at Michigan. And uh, nothing has happened too crazy yet other than what you saw with William Byron and Brakazowski. As now we come to pit road here, I was thinking, well, this car has been handling just fine so far, so I don't really need to make any sort of adjustments whatsoever. It is going to be four tires and two cans of fuel. And now hopefully uh, we can use the track position we gained in stage one to go up there and battle for the stage win here in stage two. As things are ready to go underway yet again here at Michigan, the second stage is green. And now we are on the outside lane, but already you can see Christopher Bell in our rearview mirror got a bad restart. And we got a good restart, and we're going to go to the inside now of Kyle Larson. And we dip to his inside quite easily, taking him and Kevin Harvick three wide going into turn one and two. As now we are going to get clear of the five car off the corner. And now the four car is going to battle back to the outside line. As now we battle side by side for fourth position down the back straightaway. We are now going to go into turn three and four. Looking to clear the four car. And as you can see, we get that done right there. And now to the inside of Kyle Bush we go. We get past him pretty easily as well. So now we catch up to the back of Martin Truex Jr. here with Tyler Reddick out in front. Now it is our duty to go to the inside here and try to take away P2. But... 
as you can see, a very poor corner there, and we are going to lose all that ground we caught up down the front stretch to Martin Trish Jr., and now we find ourselves with a three-wide battle right behind here, Kyle Busch, Christopher Bell, Kevin Harvick, and now myself trying to fend off all these drivers here as we just made a little mistake, and that is what happened, and now we finally uh, remain clear of them, and we get away, and now we stay in P3 in a solid area ourselves as now Kevin Harvick comes to give us a push once again. And now we're going to have to go upstairs and block Kyle Busch there on that outside lane. And we do just that. He pushes us clear of Harvick, giving us the inside lane once again to work with. A very nice corner entry for myself here. And Kevin Harvick's going to give us a huge push through the corner here. Except he does not stop there. And he's actually going to turn me into the wall. We're going to go sideways here. And now we're spinning in front of the field. We get nailed by Ryan Blaney, Ryan Newman, as well as William Byron and Keselowski. Thankfully, we somehow did not DNF, but we were very damn close to it. And it was all because of our teammate turning us on the back straightaway. What the fuck is Kevin's deal? He literally just spun us out on the back straightaway in front of the whole field. Yeah, AJ Smith is pissed, and I believe he has every right to be, because Kevin Harvick literally could have just ended our race right there. And uh, thankfully, the hits we took didn't make us DNF, which they probably should have in reality. But we'll use that to our advantage. As now we're going to restart in P40 with two laps to go in this stage. And uh, we'll see how many positions we can make back up here. But uh, we don't need to push too hard because we're going to stay out at the end of the stage. And everybody else will come into the pit road. So we'll probably reclaim the lead actually. As uh, we get into Harrison Burton and we didn't quite save our stuff there. It's going to not cause any damage as you can see. But very very close to causing damage there as i just got onto the back of him and he just went sliding and he made a nice save in the end as now we give alfredo a bump as well once again checking for damage but i did not do that and i realized at this point all right, i really gotta settle down i really gotta stop hitting on these guys or else i'm gonna ruin a potential strategy to get back to the front into the lead as now we go to the inside of Corey lajoy and aj almondzinger here in that 44 car and uh, as we come up off the corner, we're going to not quite get past AJ Almeninger, but we get past uh, Corey LaJoy now as we find Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in front of us here. And I thought, you know what, I'll just lay off the power here. Uh, we don't need to cause any sort of trouble with him. We don't want to reset the rivalry at all either. So I'll just, you know, chill out back here. I'll take my P31 at the end of the stage and we'll go and move on to the next. But Tyler Reddick wins stage two here at uh michigan and we now are in 31st but everybody's going to come to pit road for four tires and feel we're going to stay out and now we go up into the lead now as we get ready to go green for the final stage here at michigan so it's aj smith on the inside tyler reddick on the outside as the green flag is back out here the consumers energy 400 is coming to a close and can we beat out tyler reddick and the rest of the field here we'll have to find out but we are going to get a very, very good restart already, getting ourselves a car length lead. And then, of course, Kyle Larson just catches all the way back up. So the rest of the field is going to have a two-lap tire advantage on us right now. But hopefully that won't matter too much. We'll have to find out if that uh, will affect us here. But we do stay out in front right now with Kyle Larson all over our back bumper. And that pressure actually makes me mess up the corner. And he's going to go to the inside of us here. So we're not even going to lead a lap or am we are we going to make a little bit of contact and at the line we are going to lead the lap so absolutely wrecked it there kyle larson hold that one and uh kevin arvick is actually going to give us a push past uh kyle larson so he dumped me but he still wants to help me it doesn't make any sense does it obviously he didn't mean to dump me it's just the drafting system in this game is horrid that he tried to help me and ended up wrecking me uh, I got no words for it that are nice, so I'm not just going to say anything about it. But anyway, we go into turn three and four here, We're getting on that apron. Wow, well, that was very close for us wrecking there. And uh, now we're going to lose the lead because of it. And I decided to rub up a bit on Kevin Harvick because I was a little bit pissed off with him. So, uh, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, he can stay in the middle there and hold that one. Uh, as now we're going to have to go on the high lane into the corner. Carrying way too much speed here. As you can see, we hit the wall. Tyler Reddy going to bounce off it as well. So uh, both of us now are going to lose a ton of track position here. And Tyler Reddy, a guy who needs to probably win to solidify a spot. 
oh well he's in that playoff bubble right now in terms of points but he may need to win just to make sure he doesn't you know fall out of the playoffs after such a great debut season with his new team at CGR uh, and speaking of falling out of the playoffs Chase Elliott is right here as well so he's had a couple of bad runs outside the top 30 now and you can see that he has started to struggle and he actually fell out of the top 16 so you got a bunch of drivers who have had decent seasons but once again you gotta be there for the old 26 race of the regular season and to get into the playoffs you might want to just win so that you don't have to worry about it here but now we're going to go to the inside of Alex Bowman here and Danny Hamlin sending it in on them. But going way too hard into the corner. We spin out, taking Tyler Reddick with us into the wall. And this bad day at Michigan has just gotten a little bit worse as we get railed by Ryan Newman and William Byron and Timmy Hill. And uh, yeah, that's going to send us to the back yet yeah, again. I just want this race to be over with. It has just not gone our way today. Got dumped by Kevin Harvick at first and then I dumped myself on the apron. Which hasn't been the first time at this track. Because we've done it multiple times at this track. We've done it multiple times at Pocono. I just I just don't want to talk about it. It's way too easy to do. And uh, when you're a bit talentless like myself, that's what happens. So we fix our damage. You get four tires and fuel. And uh, as you can see, we are P last with only two laps to go in the race. But we're going to have to try and make our way through the field. To at least get some sort of uh, points out of this. Of course, we want to get the regular season championship. And our next best battler in this is winning the race right now. Kyle Busch is out in front with just two laps to go here at Michigan. As he's going to come through turn three and four. And now onto the front stretch. We make a little bit of contact with Eric Jones. But Kyle Busch is going to take the white flag here at Michigan. And he's going to make us getting this regular season championship a little bit harder if he wins it today. We're going to have to make up as many positions as we can as we have now cracked the top 30 here to the inside of AJ Allmendinger. And now we got Justin Allgaier and Chris Buescher just ahead of us. We're going to look to the inside of both of them. And we're going to get those positions as well. As Kyle Busch remains out in front here and clear of everybody else behind him as he goes into turn 3 and 4. Nobody out back to touch Kyle Busch as we send it in on Matt Benedetto, Timmy Hill. And now to the inside of Bubba Wallace and to the inside of James Knight. Kyle Busch wins the Consumers Energy 400. We finish 23rd after such a such a mixed day, I'm going to be honest with you. We had some high points, some low points, and some very, very upsetting, frustrating, angry points. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, that will do it for today's race. Kyle Busch wins. Cole Custer ends up in the top five. Austin Dillon, Chase Elliott, Austin Sindrick in the top ten. Tyler Reddick actually fell out of the top 10, and uh, of course, Joe Logano in the top 15 as well. So those are guys we need to watch out for. William Byron, 21st as well. That's not a good run for him. As then we look at the rest of the finishers today, no DNFs. As the BJ McLeod finished last, but 23rd place, 663 grand in the bank. And uh, that's going to fail our contract, but you know what? It's whatever at this point. You know, we go next. We go and set a new goal here. And uh, we'll go for four top tens within five races once again. And now we move on to Watkins Glen, my favorite road course in this game. Thankfully, uh, we will have a good day there, I'm sure. But that will do it for today's race. Now we can look at the points affected after that. So Kyle Busch now on three wins as well. He goes to second in the standings as here is the rest of the playoff grid. Bowman, Logano, Byron, and Blaney. Bowman and Logano are safe on points. I'm going to say that right now. They are safe. There's no way they aren't safe. But Byron, Blaney, Elliott, Reddick, Bell, they will have to battle for those last two spots in on points right now. And of course, we can have any sort of wild card win at any of the next few races. And uh, Watkins Glen, we have AJ Allmendinger in the field. He's in a bit better equipment. Of course, he won the race last season with Front Row Motorsports, so maybe he can go and win it again. But that is going to do it for today's race. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all at the next one at Watkins Glen.